Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Great Bearded Summoner, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Heroes, where we are going to be reacting to the Special Heroes Divine Harvest banner trailer. And I got, I admit it, I got spoiled on the thumbnail, but I want to go ahead and get into it, so let's go ahead and not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and do so. Wizards really dress. I love the hat. So if they continue the trend, next is the four star. Trick or treat! A costume. I've never donned such clothing before. Naga. Does it look strange? <laughs> okay, awesome. As a mummy, and as the wait, the four star. Wait, what? <sighs> to think a day would come. When we could enjoy ourselves like this. Indeed, it is truly a wonder. Duma and Mila. Nils is the Tempest Trial. Naga is the four star. Fascinating. Okay, well, let's definitely go back and let's have a look at them skills to pay the bills. second I'm gonna switch something here real quick no it's not exactly the same but the basic idea is there and I want guinea Marcella's returning as the voice actress. I'm not familiar with Yoshiro Ambe, but they did a stellar job. And let's look at these skills. Moonlight Stone. 
Special cooldown trigger slaying. It started turn one if foe's attack can trigger special, grant special cooldown minus two. If foe initiates combat or foe's HP is greater less than twenty five per less than twenty five percent. No, greater than or equal to 75% at the start of combat. Spectrum plus 5 to unit during combat. Special cooldown charge plus 1 to unit per unit's attack. And inflicts special cooldown minus 1 on foe per attack. Only highest value applied does not stack. Reduces damage dealt to unit by 8. When foe's attack triggers special. Excludes miracle. If foes rain and dragon adaptive damage. There's a little bit to unpack there. Give me a second. This is start of turn. So Slayer. Making negating Fang a two turn. At the start of turn one, if foes attack can trigger special. Grant special cooldown minus two. If foes in if foe initiates combat or foe is greater than 75%. At start of combat, spectrum plus five to unit, cooldown plus one to unit, plus unit's attack, per unit's attack, and inflict special cooldown minus one. Man, that's pretty, for not being the duo unit, that's pretty good. Won't lie. That's very good. Negating Fang reduces damage. This is the same as Legendary Corn. Legendary Female Corn. Attack speed finish 4. If unit is within 3 spaces of any ally, grants attack and speed plus 7 to unit during combat. And also, if unit special is ready or unit special triggered before or during this combat, deals plus 5 damage during combat except when dealing damage with area of effect specials. And when unit deals damage to foe, during combat restores 7 HP to unit. Triggers even if zero damage is dealt. Which begs the next... Oh, well, Negating Fang does have a boost to your attack if you attack in the same turn, so I guess that's what would apply the plus five, the end of Negating Fang, the 30% of unit's attack that gets dealt would also add this five from attack speed finish and then she has dragon's wrath and joint drive attack thankfully no distant counter it's the only thing that keeps her from being who as i stated with the ninja banner Cam Clark to me will forever be Leonardo because I am a child of the 80s. But this is a good look. I, it's got the the suit. It's the half suit, half mage look, and I kind of like that look. Though I can't say I'll be pulling for him, and it wasn't my original suspicion it wasn't going to be Ursula. So let's look at these skills. Starlight Stone. Special cooldown trigger minus one. If foe initiates combat or 75% or greater than or equal to 75% at the start of combat, grants attack plus six to unit and inflicts attack minus six on foe during combat. Inflicts special cooldown minus one on foe per attack. Only highest value applied does not stack. Restores seven HP to unit when unit deals damage to foe during combat. And also, so basically everything that, this looks like it's, let's take a little of what Moonlight Stone is from Female Corn and take some of, like, take a piece or two of her attack speed finish and put them together and that's your weapon. Okay, I've seen worse. Reduces damage from foe's first attack if foe can make a follow-up attack by 75%. And then drag an adaptive damage. Moonbow, distance stance. Unit can counter. Uh-oh. 
I have a distant counter. Okay, and Dragon's Ire 4. Start of combat if units HP is greater than or equal to 25%. Attack res minus 4 on foe during combat. Unit makes a guaranteed follow up and also if foe initiates combat, neutralizes the effect that prevents units follow up attacks. Whew. There's a fair bit to unpack here, too. But I can't say I'll be going for him. Naga. As a mummy. Flying colorless, too. It's an interesting look. Or a ghost. It's either supposed to be a mummy or a ghost. I'll go with ghost. Wait. Attack res catch three. Attack res rain three. Serenity breath. If foe initiates combat, it is greater than or equal to 75% at the start of combat. Attack res minus five on foe. And during combat, and foe cannot make a follow-up attack. Dragon adaptive damage. Hmm. I may definitely be pulling colorless as well. And then Duma and Mila apparently on speaking terms with this duo hero. And it's very nice looking. I highly appreciate the two different colored pumpkins. The plumage around his normally just armored regalia. Kind of interesting. Pumpkin shield. I don't. I think that's a shield. Probably as tall as Duma probably is. That's probably a shield, not a. I'm thinking it might have been a hat for a second. Oop, pass him up. My bad. Celery Special Slayer at start of combat. If unit's HP is greater than or equal to twenty five percent, grants attack plus six and minus to unit and minus six on foe neutralizes effects that guarantee foes follow-up attacks Can, foe cannot make a follow-up attack and also if foes attack can trigger their special and units res is greater than foes res plus five during combat inflict special cooldown plus one on foe before foes first attack cannot exceed foes maximum special cooldown if foes range is equal to two calculates damage using the foes the lower of foes defense or res. New, new A skill, distant ferocity. Unit can counterattack regardless of foes range. If foe initiates combat, grants attack plus five. And then we have an upgrade. Woeful upheaval. Dragon Wall 3 is the B skill, but at start of turn one, deal seven damage to all foes. Reduces damage from foes first attack during combat by percentage equal to difference between units attack and foes attack. Minimum of zero. Plus difference between foes HP and foes foes max HP and foes current HP at the start of turn combat times three. Maximum of 30. If foe uses bow, dagger, magic, or staff and initiates combat against an ally within two spin, they have distant say They have far save. Because they can counter. Well, looks like Lynn's got her work cut out for her. Right. Then the dual skill neutralizes any penalty, restores the early HP, and grants neutralizes foes bonuses from skills like Fortify Rally during combat for one turn to unit and allies within five rows and five columns centered on you. Did anyone else notice that it doesn't have to be there? It doesn't have to be Shadows of Valencia. I think that's usually limited to the harmonic heroes. Duo heroes don't usually have that handicap. But, uh, wow. They're neat, but not at the top of my list. But pulling red has its other benefits.
I may want a few copies. Sorry, Leo, I'm just not interested. And I got one out of the two. I'll take it. I was hoping for either Corin or Cam the female Corin or Camilla to be in this banner. The fact that Corin's in, I'll take it. Absolutely. But I hope you all have enjoyed. Please feel free to leave a like or subscribe if you did. And I will definitely be summoning on this next week. And there'll be a, the summoning video that I have for today will be out on Wednesday as usual, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But until then and next time, I will see you on the battlefield. Take care, guys.